City of Memphis will get $1 million after all for its new pool project. County commissioners tonight overriding Mayor Lee Harris's veto. He vetoed the funding because not all workers at the U of M are earning a living wage. Local 24 News reporter Rebecca Butcher, she talked with some of them. Rebecca, what are they saying exactly? County commissioners voted 12 to 1 to fund the University of Memphis's swimming pool renovations. But a union worker organizer who's been fighting for those livable wages says they're disappointed by the vote. Item 16 carries. Shelby County commissioners overrided Mayor Lee Harris's veto on $1 million for the University of Memphis's swim facilities. His decision based on workers not being paid $15 an hour. We were hoping that the Shelby County commissioners voted in a way that uh, brought the University of Memphis into more alignment with their values around raising their own employees pay to $15 an hour. So while it is disappointing, we have not lost hope. United Campus Workers, a union, has pushed for a livable wage increase for years. The university plans to make it happen in two years, but must factor two things. The variability of not unknowing uh, uh, what that number is going to be from the state and what our enrollment numbers are telling us, uh, we have to consider that every annual uh, year when we process the budget. We just would like some thoughtful accountability for the university after seven and a half years of asking for a wage that won't leave people in poverty. A $15 wage for county workers did pass. An amended version dropped a line urging Shelby County Schools to pay $15 an hour to nutritional service workers. Are these the only employees that are being affected? Or are there more? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are more. And this was only the first reading for the livable wage ordinance. The county commission did pass an ordinance making July 16th Ida B. Wells Barnett Day. Wells Barnett was an African-American woman who was born into slavery and then became a civil rights leader who reported for a Memphis newspaper and also helped found the NAACP. Live in the studio tonight, Rebecca Butcher, Local 24 News.